Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm distinguished now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, so what's up, everybody? Um, this is gonna be a little different than the other rambles, slightly. I'm not really gonna be socially like talking about uh, fitness stuff as much. It's gonna be more of those, one of those social ones. So um, if you're specifically looking for uh, fitness and like nutritional gains and stuff, um, this isn't the video for you. Um, so I'm just going to let you know that so you're not disappointed. Um, so what I want to talk about is waking the fuck up. Waking the fuck up and seeing what's going on around you and what's going on around us as a collective society and as individuals. Because a lot of people walking around here sleepwalking on some zombie shit. Y'all think Walking Dead is talking about like people who are walking around like like zombies that have a disease? Yeah, it, it is, but it's talking about like the collective state of humanity today. Or well, more specifically of the United States because not everybody out here is sleepwalking. Um, so like, let's say for instance, all the stuff that's going on in DC right now, uh, with the with the massive amount of uh, missing missing black people and missing persons um, that are not being found, um, and then with the knowledge of sex trafficking, slave trafficking, and organ trafficking that goes on in this country, uh, and in, in other countries as well. Um, I mean, if you if you ever wonder why you know certain people, you know, I. It's a couple of people that I've read about that's had like six or seven heart transplants that are rich. Like, how do you keep getting hearts? Like, where the fuck are you getting your heart from? You know what I'm saying? On some real shit. Are, are you getting put on this list and making it to the top of this list six fucking times? Are you serious? Because I know people who can't get kidneys once, but somebody can get a heart five or six times. Come on now. You know what I'm saying? Who you fooling? So, pay attention, folks. You know what I'm saying this shit is not a game and I hope you don't think it's a race thing. You know what I'm saying get out kind of letting you know like they yeah of course they like harvest black people organs and brown people organs but you think they ain't doing it to white folk? You think white folk excluded? Nah there's plenty missing plenty missing white children that get knocked that gets uh grabbed up too. You know what I'm saying? And, and they get done other things with get sold into sex slavery, get sold into other things. So let's not make it a race thing. A lot of times we make it a damn race thing when it's a people thing. Like, now granted, when I look at the when I look at the town hall meetings of all the black kids that are going missing, I ain't see no white faces. So if there are white people out there that wanna like rectify the problem and you know what I'm saying and wanna help to mend the rift, you know, you know, you guys kinda start showing up to some of those things and, and, and giving your input and not necessarily not being so apathetic about about things that go on in the black community and people in the black community you know what i'm saying we need to stop being more stop being as apathetic about problems that go on in the white community because crystal meth is something that's ravaging the white community but nothing's being done about it they aren't putting them in jail so they aren't giving them the same sentences they would as someone who got caught using crack or selling crack but in the end they're just leaving them out on the street to fucking die you know what i'm saying because this crystal meth should have killed you in like seven years if not sh way shorter than that, if not the first time, you know what I mean? So, all, a lot of these different things, I'm totally rambling, it's a total fucking ramble. But it's about waking the fuck up, okay? Wake up. This shit is not what it seems, and uh, if you already woke, it is what the fuck it seems, you know what I'm saying? But it ain't, but it's still, it's still not that. It's, it's still not as devious, this world isn't as demonic and as devious as even some people would have you believe it. Some people who quote unquote conspiracy theorists or who come on at different things, we found we found out about these different monstrosities of issues that happen that other people have no, I want to say not a clue about, but are thoroughly distracted about by Melania Trump's, you know what I'm saying, sitting on her knees in front of a bunch of black men looking like she on Brazzers as opposed to all the black kids going missing in DC. What are you paying attention to? You paying attention to that new Drake album dropping? Or you paying attention to the damn executive orders that's getting dropped? Like the federal, like federal funding getting cut to schools and you know what I'm saying? Like just different things like that. Like are you paying attention? Like I don't remember when the NDAA got signed and I can't exactly remember what was the big fiasco or like what was the dangling keys as, as it were to get people to look away from when Obama signed that. 
But, I mean, if y'all think Trump finna slow down, he not. And if y'all think Trump is the person running the fucking show, he's not, okay? He's having his damn strings pulled just like somebody else. So, again, man, that shit is just for show. Start paying attention to what's really important. All the rest of this shit, man. If it's on the media, specifically, you gotta ask yourself why the fuck is there. You know what I'm saying? Because they never really give you real shit. And if they do give you real shit, it's real quick and it gets snatched up off of there. You know what I'm saying? So pay attention. I ain't telling you not to pay attention to media outlets and things like that, but ask yourself questions. You know what I'm saying? Like, just ask yourself critical thinking questions. That's the last thing I want to leave you with. You want to start waking up? Start thinking critically. Way to start thinking critically is to ask why. Is to be, is to just be investig investigate different things and don't take uh, a news outlet or an IG post or something and just run with the shit and not do any research. Do your research, do your due diligence, and link up with other people that are linking up, you know what I'm saying, to change this world in the right way. All right? I know that was six minutes. Hope you can stay with me for six minutes. Um, and then, you know, whatever. I love you guys. Stay focused. And uh, for everybody watching this video who already hip to a lot of those things, thanks for watching. And let's keep catching people up, all right? Love y'all.